let us discuss an important analysis for calculation of equivalent resistance of an unbalanced Wheatstone bridge. In this circuit, you can see there's a Wheatstone bridge in which the ratio of these two and these two resistances are not seen. That means it is an unbalanced Wheatstone bridge, and we cannot remove the middle branch for analysis of the circuit. And here we can say. In the given circuit, no two resistances are in series or in parallel. A five ohm and three ohm could be considered in series if this branch were not present. Similarly, five and six ohm could be considered in parallel if these two ends are connected directly together because one end is connected, other is not directly connected. And if you just have a look carefully, no two resistances are in series or in parallel in the circuit. So to analyze or to calculate the equivalent resistance of such kind of circuit, we use the traditional method by applying a battery for ease and calculation. We connect a hundred volt battery across the terminals of the circuit, and on connection of battery, we calculate the total current supplied by the battery. Which is flowing through the battery, and in this situation, the equivalent resistance we can write as the total potential difference applied divided by the current flowing through the circuit. So this will be hundred divided by I. If somehow we are able to calculate the value of current in terms of these resistances, we are able to get the value of equivalent resistance. Here I am going to explain you the procedure for such handling such kind of circuits in which you cannot directly use series parallel combination for calculation of equivalent resistances. Generally, such circuits are handled with the help of Kirchhoff's current law, in which first we distribute the potential at various junctions and points of the circuit. So here, as for calculation, is we have taken a hundred volt battery. We consider on its negative side, the potential is zero volt, and on its positive side, say it is hundred volt high. And these junctions are taken at potentials x and y. Now, in this situation, we write KCL equations for x and y potentials. For x, you can directly write the sum of the outgoing currents from the junction where potential is x to be equal to zero. So the current going in this direction will be x minus zero by three, plus current going in this four ohm resistance will be x minus y by four, plus current going in this direction through five ohm resistance is x minus hundred by five. This should be equal to zero. So this is our equation one, and it is a relation, linear relation, in the potentials x and y. Now similarly, if we write the KCL equation for the junction y, this can be written as y minus zero by two, the current through two ohm resistance by Ohm's law, plus the current going from y to x through four ohm resistance will be y minus x by four. Plus through six ohm resistance from y to a will be y minus hundred by six. This should be zero, which is our equation number two. You can see the second equation is also a linear relation in the variables x and y. And directly you can write solving equation one and two as these are two linear equations simultaneously. If you solve, we get the values of X as well as Y, the unknown potentials at the junction. I just leave it as an exercise for you to calculate X and Y. And once you get X and Y, you can easily calculate the current in this three ohm and two ohm resistance. Here, the current can be written as X minus zero by three, which is X by three ampere, and here current will be Y by two ampere. And both currents will finally constitute the current I. So here, this current I can be written as hundred by this I. We can write as x by three plus y by two. Now, if you substitute the values of x and y over here, you'll finally get the result, which will be the answer to this problem, or which is actually the equivalent resistance for this unbalanced Wheatstone bridge, which is quite an easy task. The basic job of physics I've already done. The basic mathematics work for calculation you can execute. I leave it for you as an exercise.